Okay, the first thing we're going to do today, this is our last AutoCAD class in the show house. The first thing we're going to do is learn how to draw the roof section, the vaulted roof. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take our old roof, copy it straight across. This is our roof with the 412 slope. I'm going to copy the walls with it too. And then maybe just take the, uh, take the bottom cord. Take the bottom cord and offset that like 24 inches. So if you offset that 24, just trim the walls below. That looks pretty good like that. So I just took that bottom cord, moved it 24 down, and trimmed the walls up, and that's kind of where I want them. To do your vault, your vault is generally half the angle of the four or half the angle of the roof itself. So this roof's a 412. So the inside of the vault's going to be at 12 comma 2. So it's a 212. Uh, it's also a 2 by 4 bottom cord. So I offset that bottom cord three and a half inches. That's what my vault's going to start to look like. I'm just going to extend the top cord to the edge right now. And then if I mirror this thing, I just mirror those two lines right there, take them to the center of my roof, and then mirror it like that, and then fillet the two together. Yoink. And yoink. So this is what my new roof is going to look like. These bottom cord is now gone. This center, whatever that thing is called, uh, web or something, just trim that like this. And then these two I have to make up. Asina didn't get that right away, but it took her a while. Take it like that, offset it 1.75. Offset it each way, because it's a two by four. And it should look something like this. Trim this thing up. Yoink. Trim those, and trim that. Oop, there's a little piece left there. And then I'm just gonna mirror that. So I want this truss to look. Didn't look the same as last year's, so I don't know why, but no biggie, I'm gonna erase that, and then mirror it. There's your vaulted roof section. That part's finished. You should have your little dimensional lumber and stuff in there too. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to do the gable on the front elevation. So I told you on your sheet that the gable is, the center of that gable is 13, what is it, 10, 9? It's 10, 9 from the outside of exterior wall. So if I offset this line right here, 10 foot 9, that's going to be the center of this roof. Uh, something I'm missing on this is my fascia line. So I go back to my section, I need the top of my fascia. I take that from the top of sheathing right there. That will give me the top of the fascia. The line I have there right now is the bottom of the fascia. That's the top of the fascia line. This is where I take another 412 slopes. So if I go at 12 comma 4, that's great. And then I'll fill up these two together. So if I fill up that 12 comma 4 line and the line at 10 foot 9, then that's, gonna, that's exactly what I want. I can erase this. And then if I mirror this one, mirror on the center point, straight down. That's going to be the edge of my line here. Uh, this is a true 6 inch fascia, so if I offset this line 6 inches, it's truly a 2 by 6 plus the half inch sheathing. I will fill it that, so this is 6 inches offset. The way to finish this up nicely is to go to the edge of your wall, draw a line straight up, and then fill it those two corners. So that's how I want to finish this part. This line here, I want to now mirror that over, that line right there. I want to mirror that the other side and then draw a line straight down from there. I think that's right. I'm going to trim this fascia and trim this one at those points right there. And then one more trim. That looks correct to me. That's, I think that's how you do that front gable. Uh, to take this into roof plan now, we know where that peak's going to be. I'm not really ready for this, so I'm just going to take this, my main floor plan. I'm just going to move it over here a little bit, just kind of out in the boonies. Uh, you see this now, I'm just going to stop it for a second. I'm going to erase everything except for the outside of the exterior walls and the section lines. Otherwise, erase everything else. Okay, so your stuff should look like this. What I have left is the outside of exterior walls and both my section lines. And then you just change this name to roof floor plan scale, not to scale. So this is your exterior walls. So the overhang is 16 inches, so I'm going to offset all of these walls 16, so in the outer direction, fill up them all. Next week or next project I'll show you how a simpler way to do this. So that's going to be out the outside of my roof. Uh, I'll put it on the roof, the roof there. So that's good. And then these walls below I won't see anymore, so I'm going to put them on the hidden layer.
So those walls I wouldn't see below the roofs. So I'm going to put those in the hidden layer. Uh, now we just need this little peak that we just drew. We need that peak. And that peak there is... Like I said, it's 10 foot 9 from the outside of exterior wall to the center of the peak. So the outside of exterior wall here is 10 foot 9. Offset 10 foot 9. That's going to be the center of my peak. When a 412 slope hits a 412 slope, the angle between is going to be 45 degrees. So I'm going to type in, say, at 120. 120 is the number I'm just making up. 45 degrees. So I do that. And then if I extend that angle to there, this is my peak. This line, this is my section line. It has nothing to do with anything else. This is my peak. Uh, and then I mirror this. Where is it? There it is. That's going to be my roof. So if I just put this on the proper layer, <coughs> trim that line up, that's great. The only part I'm missing is the ridge right down the center. Put that on, put on the right layer. That is your roof plan. You just need to extend the, like that. That's your roof plan. Just put your notes on and everything else will be good to go. The well, last thing I want to cover on this one is this end elevation. So uh, I think when you got your elevation, when you cleared out your section, when you cleared your section off, it looked just like this. So your grade is 2 foot 6 from your top of your main floor to your top of your grade. That's 2 6. Uh, the only thing you really need, everything else is pretty easy. The only thing you need to know here is that I want this, again, like that front elevation. I want that to be a true 6 inch offset. So fill it that, and then the way to finish these ends is just draw a line straight up and fill it those. Mirror that line on the center and fill it. Put them on the right layer and you're good. Uh, the only thing we have left is this long section, so I'll stop right here and then we'll continue with that long section in just a sec. See ya!